Hello everybody, welcome to a new vlog. It is time for the obligatory one year in vlog. I know you guys have probably uh, heard a lot of reports about the whole one year of COVID thing, but I just wanted to do a sort of personal update to talk about not just how this year feels like kind of a write-off, but to talk about um, some cool things I've done during the year. I'm just kind of trying to tell myself that <laughs> despite the fact that I didn't really get out there and gig too much in this past year. I still got a lot done. I still think I successfully uh, furthered my own career uh, and such in this very strange year. Um, it, I had a very interesting March 12th last year. So last March 12th, I was down in Fort Langley uh, filming a vlog at historic Fort Langley, of course, which is uh, a uh, fort built by the uh, Hudson's Bay Company, uh, I believe in the 19th century. Uh, anyway, I filmed a pretty cool uh, vlog with the GoPro I had at the time, and then, long story short, I wound up also visiting a um, antique store and filming some stuff in there, and I must have put the uh, GoPro down just for a second. I went back to the shelf that I had put it down on, and it wasn't there anymore, so yes, someone took my GoPro, and I was all upset about that, and then I got home, and I opened up my computer, and then I started to realize, wow! The whole world is shutting down around me. Um, you know, by that point, I think the uh, NBA had shut down and the NHL was in the process of shutting down. And then the next day, Live Nation was shutting down. That floored me that the entirety of Live Nation, remember all the major concerts, not all of them, but it feels like most of them in uh, BC are run by Live Nation. And the whole company just across the board said no concerts, um, which makes sense. Uh, but it was terrifying. Initially, there were uh, mixed, uh, some people were saying, that, you know, this will only be like a, a couple of weeks. Some people said 30 days. Some people uh, said a year and a half. I remember laughing at a friend of mine who said, this will be 18 months of our life. I was like, it's not going to be 18 months of our life. That's ridiculous. Um, whoops. Anyway, <laughs> on March 13th, I, the very next day too, I had a gig uh, in Chilliwack. Uh, and I woke up in the morning and I was just like, I don't know what the heck's going on with the world. That day they announced that uh, there was to be no gatherings of more than 250 people at all, which 250 people sounds like so many now, but at the time I was like, wow. But the venue I was playing at in Chilliwack said that they were within guidelines, so I did play that gig on March 13th, but the whole day felt weird. I remember trying so hard not to shake the hands of anybody and just like stay in my little bubble or whatever and that just wound up being the last bar gig I played for about six months. It was an interesting year because of course uh, here in BC at least cases got to a more manageable place in about July or August and uh, into September as well and I was actually able to do a, a little tour with Etienne and that was amazing. It was amazing in this crazy year to go out on tour uh, I did a whole vlog series on this tour, which we called the Better Days Ahead Tour. Um, not only that, but Etienne did a series of vlogs himself as well. So there's just lots of footage on YouTube from that tour. I had a great time, and it was so great to go out. Again, like I said, during a lull in cases, we did some dates on Vancouver Island as well. I believe there were something like six active cases on the entire island at the point, so it felt like the right time to do it. And we did pick the right time, because just a couple of months after that, of course... In early November, here in BC, everything pretty much shut down again, and it's still pretty much shut down to this day here in March. And by shut down, I mean uh, you're not allowed to uh, visit friends at their houses or anything, no social gatherings of any kind. You're pretty much just allowed to do work. And uh, that being said, restaurants and stuff are still open if you go there with members of your immediate bubble so friends of mine are still playing some gigs and that's awesome I haven't been out there playing gigs this winter at all my last real public gig was in October um, and uh, just a personal decision that during all this I was not going to play any gigs but I, I'm really seeing the end of that coming just a couple of days ago they announced outdoor gatherings are allowed again and we seem to be moving in a place that is towards getting back into um, being able to get back out there in the world again. So I'm actually, believe it or not, I've actually already started to take some tentative bookings for this coming summer. So there's some cool stuff uh, for me this coming year. 
Uh, also, in theory, I might still do that Via Rail Artist on Board program thing. The Artist on Board program was a thing where I was going to ride a train uh, from Vancouver all the way to Toronto. It was going to take four days, and I was going to perform on each of those four days on the train. Then I was going to have some gigs over in the greater Toronto area, and then do the same thing, the same four-day train journey back, performing on the train, riding the rails. It would have been an incredible experience. I was going to do that in April of 2020. Of course, that could, didn't happen. It was initially postponed to October and then into 2021, but I'm hopeful that I'll get a chance to still do that. Uh, in keeping with the things I'm proud of for this year, this vlog. Uh, most of my vlogs have just been filmed in this room this year, and I was a little concerned about that because I had envisioned this, of course, as a travel vlog when I started it. I can't believe I'm saying this almost two years ago, uh, and I also can't believe that now that we're a year into quarantine, this vlog has existed for longer during the quarantine than it had before that. That's That's crazy. But despite the fact that I'm just talking for my little set here, which is in my own bedroom, um, my views have been steadily increasing. I'm very happy with this. I remember just a couple of short months ago, I was really on the push to try to get 100 subscribers. It felt like the journey from 90 subscribers to 100 uh, took a long time, and I was just like uh, so excited to get there, and then I finally hit 100 subscribers, and now, since then... I've got like 30 something more. I believe I'm at 133 subscribers at the time of filming this. Again, not a huge, doesn't sound like a huge number, but for me it's incredible and I'm, I'm really thrilled to everyone who's watched uh, my James Brown uh, career retrospective series seemed to do rather well in terms of views and get me some new subscribers and I'm just thrilled you guys are as stoked on music history as I am. Thrilled the music history posts are the ones that are getting the views because they're some of my favorite content to make, so I'm going to keep doing that. And then once everything gets more normal uh, by summer, I'm going to be doing some more traveling stuff as well. Really excited. And that's pretty much it. Uh, there was no major a point to this video other than just reflection on that it's been a year of all this craziness. I have a whole playlist uh, I'll link to in the description that is just the COVID saga. All the little chapters of the stuff that's gone on since uh, March 13th, the last year. I've really noticed that uh, lately some of my friends have been getting a little more uh, pessimistic about things as BC again has been pretty locked down for the last four months with no real end in sight. But I'm not one of them. For some reason, I, I really feel like we're on the verge of all of this not necessarily being behind us, but entering a whole new phase where we start to be able to live our lives a little bit more like we used to. Um, and we really are getting there. The summer might not be quite like the summer of 2019, but uh, it should be a lot more fun than the summer of 2020. Um, I really think that too, by the end of this calendar year, I think we'll be mostly back to normal. Again, I'm optimistic, but things are looking good with vaccine numbers, even up here in Canada, which for those of you who don't know, it's a little slower up here uh, on that front than down in the States, but we're really getting there. Believe it or not, I'm really excited for what this upcoming year has in store. I already have some pretty exciting bookings that'll hopefully come true for this summer. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to thank everybody for watching this video. Let me know how your year has gone. Um, let me know if you are able to somehow uh, remain productive uh, in your life throughout this bizarre year. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, like this video if you like what you saw. Subscribe to my channel if you've been enjoying my videos. And uh, you can ring the notification bell too if you want to be notified whenever I upload a new video, uh, which should be real soon. <laughs> Check out the description for uh, links to where you can find my music, where it's sold or streamed online. And thanks so much. Thanks for watching. Catch you again real soon.